Hey, what's up, fellas? It's still the 27th. It's Wednesday. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to title this uh, video that they are uh, they're trying to separate us. And um, they're trying to separate us by any means necessary. And I believe that this year of 2024 is 20, yeah, 2024 is going to be chaotic at best. Um, now, I grew up in Highland Park, Detroit. Uh, you, you, the color of your skin doesn't fucking matter to me. I've been all over planet Earth. I've been to Thailand. I've been to Japan. I've been to the Philippines. I've been to a supposed to say that. <laughs> I've been to a lot of countries in North Africa. I've, I've been all over. I've been in every country from Canada to the tip of Chile. Everywhere there. I've been in South Africa. South Africa. Man, I hate to... <clears throat> I've been in, anyways. 99.999% of us don't give a shit about the color of your skin because we all know you can't control that. I can't, you and I cannot control how tall we are. You know, we can control how fat we are. <laughs> You know, and if you are willing to do the work to control the things you can, and you just have to admit, but I'm telling you, it's not okay for anyone on planet Earth to hate anyone else for something they have no control over. You don't have any control over well women have control over the color of their hair a few guys do but um your skin you can't control that you can't control your culture your food your ethnicity um this stems from uh two young men who stopped by and wanted to talk to me about um how life is a bit unfair. There are far too many people out there who feel justified to make a group of people villains, uh, bad guys, make them the dark bad part of or the super white light that blinds you um, that they're the evil or the other ones are the ones that if you don't agree with me you must be you must be part of the problem rather than sit down anyway I'm, I'm trying not to be upset I'm trying not to be upset The gist of this conversation was, was a young African-American family, a young African-American man from an African-American family, and they're from actually Angola. Angola, at, well, it used to be a long time ago, Angola. I don't know what it's called now, the DNR or whatever it's called. And he had a friend who is from Chihuahua, Juarez, Mexico. And they are, they're two sides of the same coin. They, they are brothers from different mothers and they are having problems with people on both sides of their spectrum. And, uh, thank God both of them are 18 and by June, they will be on their way. But um, 
the easiest thing that a lot of these fucking scumbags do is they pick on you as men, especially you young men, about something you have no control over. And they act like you're responsible for something you had nothing to do with. Anyways, you know, just take a step back, big deep breath, and tell those guys, fuck you. Get out of here. I don't have to fucking play your game. You know, the other thing, I cooked a, I smoked a nine-pound brisket, and I had about three and a half pounds left. And, man, I may have <laughs> about that much. And those young men, um, All young men need is a little bit of advice. They don't need to be told what to do. They don't need you to say, if you don't do this, you're not. No, they need you to just, I'd say probably more than anything, just listen to them. And um, that's an old, old adage to pick on somebody about their height or their skin tone, pick on them about something they can't control. That is the easiest way. To, oh, you're not like me. I am. Fuck out of here. I grew up in Highland Park. I love my different families. I had an African American wife. I have two mixed. Well, they're not my sons. My wife now is a Native American Apache and uh, Mexican. Uh, she's a great family. They're trying to separate us. And if they get the opportunity to separate us, it's far easier for them to pick us off in little groups than it is to, if we all stand up together, that's bullshit. Um, <clears throat> because of the color of my skin or something that happened 100 years ago doesn't mean that you or I are guilty of it. And anybody that tells you that you're guilty of something you didn't do means they're the problem. So um, I don't know how else to make my point, but um, to have two young men that confused, I can't even tell you. They said they 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 can't even say some of the things they want to say because <clears throat> what's it called now? What do you guys? It's a pronoun, right? If uh, I'm a guy and I have guy junk which means I have a penis and balls, um, and you're a guy, uh, you claim to be a guy, but you have boobs and a vagina, we're the same people? No, that's fucking bullshit. We don't have to play that game, and I have, anyways, I can't tell you, these gender, um, anyway, all right, let me shut the fuck up before I get too off of that. Gentlemen, you're not responsible for how screwed up the world is. That's not your fault, and you're not required to fix it. Live your life. Do what you can to make your life better and that the lives of those people around you that you care about. Everybody else can fuck off. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, you have to take care of yourself. You have no responsibility for the world. Let it burn. You didn't do anything. And for God's sakes, you're not responsible for anything you don't have direct control over. Like the color of your skin. That is, that is, that is just a way for them to try to segregate and separate us. Love you guys. 
I'm going to do what I can to help you. I, I just can't. I think there is a war against young men, especially if they're masculine. Both of these guys are wrestlers. Man, listen, let me just shut the fuck up. Can you imagine if stuff gets sideways and all of these gender neutral people and all that kind of stuff need somebody to help them out? And all of us average, good average men, we just, ah, you know what? Good luck there. Goodbye. You know, I'm not the right skin color. I'm a, what do you call, I've got called a cis ginger man, or I'm not binary enough. Hey, get the fuck out of here. I'm not playing that bullshit. Anyway, <clears throat> love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. Young men, you're not responsible for other people being dumbasses. And you can't, don't let anyone make you ashamed or uncomfortable about something that has to do with your, this is something you have no control of, your skin color, your hair, your, your family. You can't pick what family is. Love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can. And if you can't, take care of yourself. You don't owe anybody anything. Love you guys. Bye-bye.